Temple of the Blue Moon. This charming treetop cottage is just one of the many tree houses lodging available at Pitt Nelson's Treehouse Point in Issaquah Walls. Nelson, a world-renowned treehouse builder and author, created this sustainable destination as a beautiful educational gateway that provides visitors with a unique way to connect with nature. The Temple of the Blue Moon sits pathway up a 300-year-old, 160-foot-tall Sitka spruce and bow skylights built in cedar beds and handmade quilts. Glimpsy Houses Former Atlantan and now California girl Susan Fairbanks Lee Crow completed this tree house a decade ago when she was living in the southern city. Located close by the government's mansion, it purchased a last fern garden and looks interesting in all seasons, constructed entirely of reclaimed materials, approximately 25 windows comprise its walls. A bridge from the main house extends to the space when an upstairs loft has a king size and a downstairs sofa bed extends into a queen for company. Lantern House Roderick Romero is known for an incredible and versatile treehouse design. He is one of the biggest names building tree houses. In addition, he designed tree houses for stars like Sting and Val Kilmer, but it's his desire to live a more minimalist, ahimsa focused life that first inspired him to create his tree top masterpieces. His lantern house is situated among three eucalyptus trees in Santa Monica, Calif, and 99% of it was built with salvage lumber, including the stained glass which he recovered from an old movie set. Lantern House is perhaps his most famous work. Cheddar Sheikh Tree House Photographer, designer, artist, industrial designer, and handyman Nelson Chan of Tu Chan Design has worked on many diverse projects. But the first tree house he ever designed was this tunnel located in Oakland, Calif. He got the job on referral from fellow builder John Lionheart and designed it when Shamley, that cheddar six siding and wrap around deck had us at Hello. The Hemloft, Whistler, Canada. A secret tree house hiding in the words of Whistler, Joel Allen, the former software developer, built his egg shaped structure called Hemloft. He built this on government's own crown land in the woods outside of Whistler, British Columbia, Canada. Truly a labor of love, Allen and his fiancée Heidi crafted much of it together using free materials claimed from Craigslist ads. It hangs on a precipitous slope in the towering stand of hemlocks, about a five-minute walk from the nearest road. A live-in Oregon tree house. The world's largest concentration of tree houses is found in Cave Junction, Oregon. Here, architect Charles Greenwood spent 12 years building tree houses for others, but in 2006, he took some engineering risks by building his own live in tree house. Set aloft with the help of some support poles, the study is fully outfitted for modern life, complete with an east facing tea deck and west facing drink deck that allow him to enjoy the scenery from sunset to sunrise. Thank you.